My name is Bruce Odom. I'm here to show you a little bit about how we've created a mass credential upload. Very important uh, to your organization because this is going to allow you to create security policies, allow you to change passwords on a regular basis, whether you want to do this weekly, monthly, quarterly, biannually. But it's very important that you maintain your credential passwords and usernames so that you're protected from getting hacking and theft. I'm going to show you some of the features that we've installed today, uh, starting with the first one, which is important. Before you had to have security admin to change a single credential. Now each user will have the ability to go to the main page. They'll be able to roll down to the section that says truck stop load posting and be able to change their user credentials. And remember, this is only their user credentials. And it's very important they understand what they're putting in there and entering it. Otherwise, they're going to have to go back and set this again. The other one, which is really going to allow you to manage corporate policies, is the mass upload of user credentials. And this makes it easy because we've created several of the credential environments that you can use this in. And simply, you go to the TMS admin, you would select credentials, and there's a new feature here called Mass Import. Once you select Mass Import, you're going to see this very important piece here, which is use this file for formatting data for upload. That's going to give you an Excel spreadsheet template to follow. It has all the instructions at the top of the template on how to format it, where to put your data, and enter your information in. The key is, and this is something we had to go through a lot of testing and experimenting on, is when you get to the sections that allow a IP range, you want to make sure that is entered correctly. It, it has to be done with a piping character in between, and we've got instructions here on how to follow that. When you're entering this data and following along in the instructions, you're going to see that I've created three customers here. Now, it's very important that your users are set up already in your system and you've got them set in there. Then you can fill out the format in this Excel spreadsheet and once that is done you want to save this as a CSV file. You can validate it, look at your CSV file and again I'm going to highly recommend that you look at your a few of the locations of where you have a IP range and make sure it is in this format very important that it's in that correct format so it uploads correctly. Once you have that done, upload your CSV file. You'll see that this process is going to tell you it's done. Then you're going to be presented that the, it was successful upload and now you're waiting for the processing to complete. You'll get back an email that tells you if this is correct or where, which row has errors in it and it'll allow you to correct what changes you need to make on this. So you'll see I just received an email back that told me that the three rows were processed correctly and this will be your indication that you can go in and look at your credential upload. Once you receive that email, go back into your credentials and you're going to see here that all my users have been successfully uploaded and checked and it tells you which ones have been done. You can validate them by clicking on the user and going in and in this particular case, let's go here to new user 2, who I did have a IP range on, and you'll see that it is in the correct format here. This is extremely important, and you can validate. Just go through a few of them. Highly recommend that you validate that your information is correct, and then you'll, you, you'll see how easy it is to accomplish this on a regular basis. Again, I can, can't express more than making sure that you do this, setting up a good security policy, getting your credentials uploaded on a regular basis and changing them. It only protects yourself, your company, and your liabilities. So uh, I highly recommend that, that you use these features. That's what they're there for. And uh, appreciate your time.